This is the SPCE one month overview reading for the month of November 2023. It's currently September 21st, 2023, 12.50 p.m. Eastern Time. SPCE at the time of this reading is $1.86 USD. And the shuffle file we're about to play for the November reading was created on September 3rd, 2023 at 3.10 p.m. Eastern Time. That's this video right here. So the overall theme and behavior, we have an important high here, guys. The, the fortune card, not only does it, in, does it indicate uh, a prominent reversal on a multi-day, uh, probably on a one-year chart, but it also, um, in a lot of cases, on a on like a broad time scale reading, will indicate a highest high or a new high of some kind. Um, so the fortune card here indicates it, it indicates a highest high, especially when we have cross reading kind of congruency, where we have a highest high indication on the one year on the 23, 2023 one year. What's also interesting to point out is that we have the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Discs both appearing towards um, on, in, at the end of October, um, and I think they actually end up being more so relevant to November. But that's what you're going to see with the one years about two weeks wiggle room because we have the Ace of Swords here and the Ace of Discs in the reading as well. So my sense is that the Ace of Swords ends up being a midpoint on like a multi-month scale kind of trade. This would be a good median point. You could open up in, in relation to the, this price level here on the second, you could open up a long and a short position. We'll talk about that in more detail um, as we progress through the, the reading. The behavior around the highest high, um, there'll be a notable move to the upside on a one month chart. It'll stand out a notable move to take us to the high and the behavior around the low slow. We're gonna, it's gonna kind of flatten out near the low. Uh, volume and volatility will flatten out near, near the low. Um, it'll also be an important price level um, on a, at least a one month scale. Before we go any further though, guys, let's make sure everybody knows about the rule of karma, which is the whole point of the channel. You go to your website, tarotfortraders.com. Um, and what we're asking is that people who are profiting from this information take 5% of the profits and donate them forward to a charity here listed on our resources tab. And then 5% of the profits should be donated back to the channel to help support the channel and keep us motivated. Uh, that leaves you with 90% of the money. Make sure to spend that money out of love. The universe will send it back to you tenfold through this channel, my friends. Thank you very much to all you angel investors doing that. What I see taking place are we have lows at the beginning of the month. And it looks like we have highs or maybe consecutively higher highs throughout the second portion of the month, starting about midway through the month. Um, a, a low on the 1st, a low most likely on the 6th, and it looks like we have a high on the 17th. It'll probably be our highest high thus far, and then we may see another high or a higher high around the 22nd, um, possibly even on the 29th, 30th. Before we go any further, let's take a look and see how we're doing on the 2023 reading thus far. So this one was a little bit bumpy. We've had some difficulty with the SPCE trades, um, but we're, right here we had a, it was the area that kind of got off. We had a high, a high here on the in April, ended up being in May, June, so we're definitely off on that. But as far as the lowest low, it looks like we've set ourselves up pretty well for that. It looks like what I should have interpreted was a highest high on the cusp of uh, January, February, and it looks like that that's what really Really took place there um, and then we revisited it again with this princess of wands so i was off on that reading but a lot has transpired as far as my knowledge base since the time this reading was conducted and in any case it looks like we are right on on, on schedule as far as entering into a lowest low here around october because we see it here um, we're, we're setting ourselves up nicely for a low slow but what i see after that is another highest high or higher like maybe it's a high side thus far but there'll be a big move to the upside here in november it looks like um overall the 2023 is looking pretty accurate all right, so we start off the month in oversold territory, and there's a notable move higher on the first out of the, out of the lowest low for the month. Uh, an important resistance level is highlighted on the second. There's a lot of ground covered. I think we probably declined from that resistance level on the second down to a trough mid or early in the day on the third, and then we push uh, pretty pretty high to the upside on the third, pushing the upper end of a range higher, probably pushing through the resistance from the second uh, and creating a highest high thus far there towards the end of the day on the third. A lot of ground will be covered to the upside there. And that's where I think the first trade is, guys. When we break through that resistance on the second, that's from the second, when we break through that resistance, I would open up a short position. You could close that short position at the end of the day on the sixth after three pokes through the same price levels, followed by a sharp drop, taking us to a lowest low again. It's probably the same price level uh, low on the sixth that we have on the first. Brief peak that's easily missed on the seventh, followed by a decline through multiple supports, and then another peak, uh, near overbought peak on the eighth that we sell off through multiple supports. But it's probably like some gaps up with selling down and then gap up with selling down. That's my sense. On the ninth, we have a rally that increases with momentum moving forward in time, and there's a day trade opportunity in there. I'll talk about it in more detail as we progress through this reading. Guys, if you want to get the full prediction with all of the trades that we see for the month, as well as all of the chart behavior um, and all of the dates as far as where we think the highs and the lows are most likely to be, um, check out our website, tarotfortraders.com. This is a really great way to support the channel. It's the whole purpose of the channel is to, is to transmute uh, competitive energy to the stock market to goodwill, but we need your help to do that, guys. And the way that you can do that is if you utilize this information regularly, go to our services tab, SO Meta Posts, scroll down to our monthly subscriptions, and you can subscribe to any of these tickers of crypto. If you want access to the paid version or the full version of all of these tickers of crypto, you can get the 250 a month subscription, which is our most popular subscription by far. We're not right about these trades all the time, but we are right most of the time, guys. And even when we're wrong on parts of the readings, um, it's still there'll still be a lot of valuable information in there. So it's you know it's, for somebody who knows how to trade, really, really helpful information. Um, and uh, a great way to support the channel. We definitely recognize the names of everybody that goes ahead and does that. So thank you very much to all of you that do that. As always, make Make sure to follow that rule of karma and i'll see you guys on the next one